Welcome to day two of John chapter nine. Woohoo! Um, yay! We are in verses eight through seventeen. Mm-hmm. And Ashrita, you and I were just talking about how personal, what a personal yeah. touch Jesus gives to this healing. Yeah, and he got so involved too. So um, there are different accounts of Jesus healing blind people, but mm-hmm. in this one, he makes mud with his own saliva. Right. Which is yeah. interesting. It is interesting. Like, I wondered if anybody made mud in that way for yeah. medical purposes back yeah. in the day. Like, we would think that saliva is gross. Right. Like, we don't, like, backwash in our water. Yeah. You know? And uh, I was wondering, like, yeah. how much, how much saliva would it take to make <laughs> this mud to put on his eyes and anoint his eyes but you were telling me that you have a mud mask I, I do and it just takes a teeny tight and it's yeah, it's real mud and it just takes a teeny not with saliva yeah, uh, though uh, no definitely not with <laughs> saliva so it only takes a little bit to um yeah that's why you have radiant skin, skin. Yeah. I haven't done it for a long time. <laughs> we should have a sleepover. We could all do sleepovers. Wouldn't that be fun? Yes. That would be fun. Okay. Yeah, we're getting off That's track. Oh, um, <laughs> <laughs> so he makes mud and he heals this man um, and gives him sight. And then what we see here is that he's brought before the Pharisees to kind of give testimony to what happened. Mm-hmm. He is. And why? Because of verse 14. Now, it was a Sabbath day when Jesus had made them. Of course it was a Sabbath day. (laughs) Like, what other day would it be? (laughs) We've known to expect this by now, right? We we definitely can expect that for sure. Um, But I'm just, you know, I also found it interesting in this day that the neighbors, the neighbors don't know. Is it the blind man? Is it not the blind man? Like, he's so transformed. They can't mm. imagine. Some of them can't imagine that it would be mm. the blind man. Um, so that also stood out to me as well. Yeah, yeah. We definitely see a transformation in him. And one of the things that I noted here is, is this not the man who used to sit and beg? Um, and he went from sitting and begging to moving, right? Because he's moving in different places now. And then he's brought before the Pharisees mm-hmm. and testifying. He's giving testimony about the mercy that he received. I just thought it was such a contrast from sitting and asking for mercy and begging for mercy to then going and proclaiming the ultimate mercy mm. that Jesus had given oh, him. Absolutely. I love that, Ashrita. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for that thought. Good stuff in here, ladies. Would love to know more about what uh, what struck a chord in your own heart yeah. this week. So 